Now, here's Heidi and Frank on 95.5 KLOS and KLOS HD1, Los Angeles. Heidi and Frank show. Da Vinci's Demons. Critically acclaimed series on uh, Stars Network. It's going to have its uh, season two premiere on Saturday, March 22nd at uh, 9 p.m. If you're not... uh, turned on to the show yet i suggest that i i watched the the first season and uh it's great it's a, a british american historical fantasy drama series that presents a fictional account of leonardo da vinci's early life right because if uh, you look at pictures of leonardo da vinci not a looker but the guy who plays leonardo da vinci i'm like uh hello when when you hear about the show i'm, I'm picturing leonardo da vinci i'm going oh how can that be sexy well they hired a guy that's pretty sexy yeah they, and then, they made it sexy and, and they then hired laura, laura haddock uh, to be uh, his lover and she's out in the hallway get her in here yeah all right guys have been going crazy all over the hi there laura she is. how are you no, do you do whatever you want? Are you kidding me? Thank you Sit for down. stopping by. Uh, a fan of the show here. I uh, stumbled across it on Stars. I was like, it was when it first started, and I was like, okay, get it. I like starting shows from the beginning. Started watching it, and uh, it's like, um, if you're not familiar, it's like MacGyver meets the Borgias. <laughs> Have you ever heard that before? No, I like it. <laughs> it's a great show. You're fantastic in it. Um, I don't know if you're. Are you familiar with the website MrSkin.com? No, oh, <laughs> I, can, I can imagine where this is going. Yes, because in this in the show, I mean, uh, there's nudity, and uh, you've got you've uh, been naked on the show several times. You're very very naked. <laughs> very naked on the show, but not just a little bit naked. And uh, naked. Mr. Skin is, is a website that pretty much cr- chronicles nudity in movies and television. Right. And, and vital, they, vital job. And they, and they recently <laughs> came out with their Anatomy Awards. Right. And you won one. I did. You did. You didn't know that? <laughs> you won most niptastic nips. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> so yeah. uh, we we don't have we have a bo- booby prize or something we can get no. her because then she can uh, the, her thank you speech. I can't we had the music. You just started this conversation with that. I know. I was, I was so excited. Lead. I was like, my God! Lead with that. Get that out of the but way. But award yeah. winner because it's all it's all he's talked about. Is I, it? I'm like, just get, well, can we get her in here already so you can get this? The it's Oscars all were what last week, and so yes. we had Mr. Skin on the show, and he did his wars. And I was like, I think we're having Laura Haddock in next week. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that is. Now, crazy. when you go, when you audition for Da Vinci's Demons, you you know nudity way ahead of time, right? They're like, you may be naked in this. Well, the first thing they auditioned were my nipples. So <laughs> yeah, that was great. So I got the part because of that. They're hired. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> you're hired. Oh no, I am. Um, uh, what was the question? No, I don't know. <laughs> Getting lost in your eyes at this point. Um, <laughs> at least you know, now my, I understand. At least it's my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yes, yeah, because I'm a lady. I'm getting lost in her her eyes, Frank. See what that's like. What's that process? So when you go audition for Da Vinci's Demons, how many auditions does it take to finally hear back? Like you got it. We want um, you. That one was about that. They're all different, so yeah. it could be one or it could be twenty. But that one was about four or five meetings, and then um, yeah, I came out here for the first time actually, and um, and met stars who are who are our producers of the show, and um, and yeah, auditioned, and then four or five times. Things, well, yeah. Is there ever a point in that where you're like, I don't think I'm, I don't know. I don't well, know. actually, I, I didn't think I'd got it because David Goya, who's a show creator, he called me on the telephone and I was in Barney's wondering and in fact I was in Barney's being told that I had too much blusher on and she and I needed to take it off and start again so I thought I've just done this this audition and you're telling me now but I've got too much blush on this is great so I get a phone call on, uh, on my mobile and it's David and he calls me and he goes hey Laura I was like hey hi and he's like it's David I was like oh hi David it's like you're taking the bullet and I was like oh no all right. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, good luck with the show. And he was like, "What? No, you got the job. Yeah. Taking the bullet. Yeah, means you're dead I was taking the bullet. If that means to me, what? that meant bang you're you're out. Yeah, you're yeah. done. Yeah, you're dead. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. not happening. You're out. No, you, that means I, you uh, got it. Yeah, I got it. And that was exciting. It's a it's a great show. I mean, when you uh, when you're out and about now, do you get a lot of the the Da Vinci Demon fans be like, "Hey, do they recognize you?" Because it's a time piece period. Um, so maybe bits not. And bobs. It depends where we are. Yeah, it's little. It's some some people. Get yeah, yeah, I get recognized. I was in a supermarket in um, 
England the other day and this guy was um, on the checkout and he was he looked at me and he was really looking at me and I was kind of like what are you looking at and uh, and he was like oh my days I was like, you what? know who you look yeah, like yeah like, you look just like that Lucretia <laughs> Donati man <laughs> I get that all the time yeah, yeah you're yeah. welcome to that Da Vinci's demons Aww. are you living out here in Los Angeles now no no London still London is, is that mm-hmm. where they film it they film in Wales actually so UK but um yeah we film in Wales Swansea do you have any animals at home waiting on you to get back? I do. I've got a dog. Yay. We, all dog? Okay, we gotta guess what kind of dog. Oh, I'm guessing okay. uh, I'll, I'll guess Yorkie. Uh, no. Uh, no, I'm gonna go. She's got a uh, more of a medium sized dog, but he's a mutt. He's scruffy. He looks like he could be in a movie. I'm gonna go uh, like a, a just a like a Benji? Ter- yeah, like a ben- like just a terrier. Are you a terrier? I do have a terrier. I've got a West Highland terrier. Oh, West Highland terrier. The terriers are the best he's, dogs ever. And he's a mucky pup called Archie, and then I've also got a um a cockapoo. Oh, yeah, all right. or, or a isn't, po- po- isn't that a bird? <laughs> <laughs> isn't that a bird? Well, my husband likes to refer to, to, refer to her. <laughs> yeah, what are yeah. you suggesting? Uh, no, she's called Rosie. She's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. And so they're they're back there. They're back there. Oh, Rosie's yeah. just got her passport, so she can now <laughs> what travel you, with you. What have you found out that uh, that Rosie, right? Rosie, yeah. Rosie the cockapoo, belonged to somebody else. It was like they had a lost dog. They put up flyers oh, everywhere. On my, on my way here today, I saw a sign for someone who had lost their dog, and it was a five thousand pound reward, a dollar reward. And I was like, I've got the afternoon off. I'm going to go and have a look. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to go and have a look. The dog but, treats in your hands. Yeah. On the flip side, you mean that you she... are a dog owner? That's just horrible. Isn't oh, it? I know. So you're saying that Rosie, who she's in love with and she's had, she finds out that it was some little girl's dog that went missing and she never found it. Would yeah. Like, Rosie, Rosie ended up in a shelter across would town. Get, you ended up adopting her, and all of a sudden you're in love with the dog and now this little girl comes around would i give her back dog. is that the question would you give her back mm. no. <laughs> <laughs> no it's hard. How long she's have you had four Rosie? years old she's got tears in her eyes yeah oh the, what the little girl she calls the dog rewiki it's not even the same name <laughs> like, it's rosie we could do sort of like time share <laughs> yeah when you're here you're like you can check in on her yes there, oh that sure? would actually be helpful she can have rosie when i'm here does right. that actually happen it's, it's a story That's in los awful. angeles where a four-year-old boy they had a, a puppy uh rhodesian ridgeback no. and uh it was in their backyard, eight months old, and uh, escaped somehow. And they put up all the signs, did everything they could to try to find the dog. And somebody picked it up and drove it to a shelter like 10 miles away. Mm-hmm. And so somebody, like a rescue, adopted it, changed its name, and, and pretty much put it up for adoption. Put, put it up for adoption. Somebody came and adopted it. And now mm. somebody recognized the dog, and now this four-year-old wants his dog back, and they're like, well, "No, we and love the dog now." And how long had the new guys had the dog for? Uh, that is important that in the story. Like, how long did the, the new guys have the dog? <laughs> Google, Google. Yeah, because once I'm an, <laughs> once I'm in love and I'm involved, it's like I I don't. Think oh I, yeah. If I've had it for two weeks and this little girl's crying, and then that's my role. Because they're saying, "No, well, we love the dog now." So whose dog I mean, it's is tough, it? Isn't it? If I'm, but see, well, here's how I am. Maybe you I, could steal the four-year-old. <laughs> I, would, I would like to do that too. I would like to do that too. That we're all like, one happy family. Inappropriate. I did not mean that. Yeah, I mean I have. <laughs> no, I would I not steal you'll children. In, you'll fit in just fine around here, please. That's my baby. Um. Yeah. I mean, I have four dogs, two cats. You have a whole do house you? full. Yeah. 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 Wow. Quickly, what are all the names? Pino. Yeah. Dolce. She's a good yeah. character. <laughs> I am a LV, Joe, Boffy, and uh, Sal. Amazing for, for Salvato because they were rescued, so that means rescued in Italian. And Boffy is uh, the, the Italian word for mustache because she's a cat, but she's got a big white mustache. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I call her Boffy. Yeah, but I can't imagine if somebody comes around now and goes, "Oh my God, that That's cat mine. that you adopted, that was my kitty." Yeah. I'm like, "Sorry, sorry." I'm already in love. And also, it's like the five second rule, isn't it? Find <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> your keepers. Once it's in your house, exactly. Unlucky. I can't, <laughs> I can't imagine you though picking up poop. Is that your husband's job to pick up poop? in the yard no babe i pick the pig yeah, you oh think she's God. too good yeah. she seems like just a down-to-earth girl yeah no 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 or i just leave it and let it, <laughs> and let it pile up yeah it turn then, white or right. give them easter eggs yeah that's bad when they go white. <laughs> yeah it's been out there a while yeah, yeah. <laughs> right uh, actually i've got these really amazing from here uh uh scented um dog poo bags, bags. yeah the, la- the lavender ones. Oh, there's lavender? There's lavender ones, and they smell so good that I keep one in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. To make my car smell nice. <laughs> so the idea there is that the poop goes in the bag, and you, 
Uh, and then but, you can keep it because it doesn't smell bad. Right, you just tie it off and then the lavender scented yeah, bag. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the point of it actually is. I don't, because no, it doesn't help, really doesn't help anybody. Yeah, I think yeah. dog poop has to trump that. I mean, how strong is the scent of lavender? Mm. It's pretty, it's pretty strong. The fills lick, fills yeah. up her car with good smells. It's got to be pretty strong. <laughs> uh, speaking of, uh, going, back, get going back to, tell, I don't know, going back to television, uh, <laughs> do you have any uh, guilt, guilty pleasures as far as reality TV do you watch? Do you know who I love? I am. Um... Oh no! How bad but is you it? You shouldn't. No, I really, really like and would like her to be my friend, uh, Chloe from the Kardashian. Oh, sisters. Chloe Kardashian! Yeah. Yeah. I really like her personality. She's my favorite one. I think she's really, really funny. She's funny. She's down to earth. She's yeah. a goofball. She is a goofball. Yeah. And in January, and when I was here, I'm beautiful. God, yeah. yeah. I mean, they all are ridiculous. Well, I'm but sure then... if you want to meet her, it's not a problem. I'm sure you would be able to meet her. Yeah, but well, I we got be, a surprise for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. We don't. See, oh, we, we should have known that. We could have called him up. Well, we need a research department. We, we don't know that. We at least got Bruce Jenner down here. I mean, <laughs> sort of close. I love that you love Chloe because she takes so much crap from people, you know? Why? Oh, it's just that she's not the prettiest sister, but I think she's the prettiest oh, sister, God. too. I I'm with she's you. Absolutely. I'm with Oh, oh wait. Who did that? <laughs> What was it? Oh, he played a, a, a moo sound, a cow sound. sound. It's our producer, Eric. That's him that. right there. You can blame producer him. Producer Eric. <laughs> That's unbelievable. See, see, see what I'm saying? She gets so much crap from people, and I think Laura Haddock's awesome. hanging out with us from uh, Da Vinci's Demons on Stars Network. Uh, season two premieres on Saturday, March 22nd at 9 p.m. So be sure to check it out, and I think you probably go back and. Uh, Get the first season. Is it on Netflix or anything yet? Yeah, p for people to catch up. Where can they watch Not it? Yet. You know? I'm sure. DVD yeah. is available? Yes. Yeah. Um, DVDs. DVD is available. Well, you, you can know. catch up right now. I mean, it's yeah. the second season. I mean, yeah. you, you can start. Well, do a recap. I also back. offer a recap service. So no, she'll just, it's just me. Just right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's going to happen? What can you tell us? What's going to happen this season? I mean, your character made some you know, major changes or revealed certain things in the, in the first season. Don't ruin it for I'm people. Not. All right. So in the second season, can you reveal anything for us? She yeah she takes on a major shift again she kind of goes off on her own journey um and is still something happened to her in her life when she was about 15 years old that she's been trying to avenge ever since and so everything that you saw her do in the first season it's not justified but you can kind of get it your, explains why she yeah you, and actually this moment explains who she is because i think in the first season it's very confusing she's it's great for me because she's really multi-layered and she's a completely three-dimensional person but um she's confusing <laughs> nobody really knows whether they like her or hate her, mm -hmm. which is... It, Those are fun characters to yeah, play, though, I would really imagine. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her. Yeah, but well, this season two, do you? I love the character. Oh, yeah, yeah I like her. Is it the character? And I, I think, love the character. Oh, right. Hopefully, when you see in season two what's, what she's been through and what happened, what happened to her, you'll... I'll fall in love with her? Probably. Well, maybe. Oh, Donna, you're already in love with her. Who are you kidding? <laughs> I'm already in love with her. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely check out the show. And that you can follow Laura on uh, Twitter at uh, Laura J. Haddock, the two Ds. Uh, like the fish. Are you doing the... Um, I mean, obviously, you're on Twitter. Are you on it all the time? Are you good at it, social media? I'm not very good at it, but recently I've um, started tweeting songs that I've been listening to, oh, which I'm that. really I enjoying. Love, I love when people do that because yeah. then it's like if I'm following you, I'll I go, know. I've never heard of this person. This is awesome. Listen, I love that. Listen, Keep doing it's that. It's very, I, I agree. And I, dog pictures. Yeah. Pictures dog. of Rosie. Oh, okay. I could go with the dog pictures and the songs. But yeah. don't tweet pictures of things you're just getting ready to eat. I hate that when people are like, look at my plate. I have done a bit of that. I have too. There's an amazing girl. Am I allowed to like say people's names? Say whatever you want. Like. Okay, so there's this amazing girl in, she's London based, but I think she's actually American. Um, Deliciously Ella. She's like, she's a really cool blogger and she does all these amazing food like, blogs. Like food porn pictures. Yeah, of she's, food. she's a big foodie and she's gorgeous. I and, love um, that. So yeah. I'd rather people uh, tweet pictures of a plate that they like clean the plate. <laughs> And then I have, to, the I have to guess what they ate based <laughs> on the scrapings that are left. Based on the tongue. Lips yeah, like what, whatever. I was like, oh, what was that? It looks like it was a cream sauce. <laughs> no, no, it was like fettuccine. It was like Alfredo. a peppercorn. I think that one peppercorn. So you there. prefer Twitter to be a challenge? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't just hand it to me on a plate. Yeah, no. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't spoon feed him if there you will. Don't there spoon feed is. him. Very good, very good. No, we asked this question to everybody who comes on the show. Uh, just a little get to know you better. Uh, let's go uh, back to when um, Laura 
lost her virginity. Can you tell us a story about how that happened? Oh, what she time just is got, it? She just got married, so I'm sure it was just, you know, it was, re- it was, it was recently. Just very recent. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on a minute. What time are we on? Um, it's eight, eight. But there are no windows 15. in here, so it could be, you yeah, know. It's like Vegas. It's, you know, it's, it's 15 at night. <laughs> right. When did you lose your virginity? On my 15th birthday to a woman who was 19 in a trailer park. And she never stopped smoking. Mm. She had a ash, uh, an ashtray that had a sandbag ashtray, and she stepped on her stomach the whole time. <laughs> now uh, your turn. Yeah, my, 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 <laughs> I was 17. It was nine days before my 18th birthday, and it was on a black lacquered waterbed with mirrored ceilings. And right. it was, what? And it was a boy, you know, a guy I was dating, and we'd been together for a while, and, and I said one night, I think I'm and she watched ah, herself lose it on the, on that the was ceilings. Lot. It was I didn't I didn't get it. I was like, this is not this is where everybody's Have right. taken you to this, this mirrors. We were at a friend's uh, like a house party and we, it was this was down downstairs in a basement, I think, and I was finally ready to be a come a woman. Blimey. But it was like because eh. it's one of those things. Get, I was like, that's those, what everybody's It's one of those moments that obviously you remember no matter how good or how bad the situation is. Because it was so, your first time, yeah. Yeah. Number two through whatever you don't remember that much of, but uh, number one. Is always the memory. So tell us a story. <laughs> no, maybe it's, she doesn't remember. Maybe there was an alcohol I mean, involved. I don't need to, uh, just those like quirky details. Nothing crazy. No, I want crazy details. It's quirky, like okay, like the sandbag ashtray for me, trailer park, mirrored ceiling, water, yeah, that kind of thing. Anything stand out? I think James Blunt was playing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't know? You really don't remember? I, yeah, yeah beautiful. Fab. I've got yeah, I've got um. It's very, listen. <laughs> You're blushing. I love it. Too much it. blushing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Too much blushing. Like back in Barney's. <laughs> Too much blush. Ah, take it off. Rouge. I think she called it Rouge. Rouge. What was she, 90? I thought like, she was 90. Yeah, older lady. That's usually the older lady. You've got too much rouge on Dolly. <laughs> yeah. You're like a crown. <laughs> like a rouge. Oh, gosh. This is, you know. You don't have was, to Was it me. in a bed, a car? Oh, right. Well, it was in a bed. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Bunk beds? <laughs> Bunk beds. I'm just trying to get a time frame here. Um, <laughs> oh, guys. Water bed? It's, this is tough. Futon? Yeah. Futon was probably college. <laughs> oh, God. I am. Um, you don't have I was to. so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't. After a couple at of pints. Was, listen, at least it was a bed, you know? Yeah. yeah. Not the back of a car. Um, are, you, are you are you celebrating a St. Patrick's Day? It's in a couple of uh, what weeks? We do two weeks. We, well, it's regardless of whether you're Irish or not. You yeah, can't no, get away with course. it in the yeah. UK. You're all out. <laughs> right. Everybody you're, gets to be Irish for a day. Yeah. You like drinking, drinking beer? Um, I love it. Get love a Guinness. Love a Guinness. Like, we have a lovely little local pub in where I live. Go down the river, have a couple of Guinnesses, have a roast, and fall asleep. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do they? Uh, know you when you walk in it's like oh and you have a place at the bar you always sit <laughs> yeah. i'm guessing you get some free With drinks. my bowl of nuts <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah complimentary you know uh, yeah well, uh, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us and Thanks i encourage me. everybody to check out the da vinci's demons on stars network the season two premieres on saturday march 22nd at 9 p.m laura haddock uh, oh you are also uh, working on or you've worked on because it's coming out here pretty soon guardians of the galaxy oh yeah that looks yes. good yeah that was great fun yeah did you see the tra- i did oh, see you the trailer a little bit like chris um, pratt oh why are you doing laura there. why are you doing this do you really like he's gonna pratt. be on a cloud for a month i now. do <laughs> i did see the trailer with You're the killing me. What, uh, Jesus. rocket raccoon wasn't uh, it oh, really hilarious oh, the i love that i will oh like, i love that raccoon yeah, yeah i can't wait I to see and it. the song what's the song in the movie that uh oh yeah the blue suede uh, uga uh, chaco uh, uga uga and then that's... more than a feeling right no uh, yeah more than a feeling yeah, yeah. Is that it? yeah that's it right. yeah and uh that's yes. really cute yeah i think it looks good and james yeah. gunn who directed that it's amazing mm-hmm. it's gonna be a huge film i mean everyone's yeah. expecting i mean are, you're gonna go see that so uh congratulations on that and anytime you want to come back doors always open okay thanks thanks for having me we are Heidi and Frank. Uh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, you would webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.